Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show. And today, and possibly later today or tomorrow, I'm going to be hitting you out with a twofer of DQ. But today we got one item we're going to be checking out here today because this is like a, a bigger item. These two are like uh, snack type deals. Um, all going to be new stuff to the bakes menu, which most places, like every DQ is going to carry this stuff, but it's hard to find one that carries like the burgers and stuff like that. A lot of them, they just, they will not equip their kitchens with anything that takes no fryers uh, or any kind of griddles. Uh, they just want to throw a convention oven back there and just hammer out all these bake menus. It seems like money laundering operations is what it seems like. So check back with us for a DQ twofer with some snack items. Today we're going to be checking out, uh, new to the menu, the artisan style Philly sandwich and that's what we got here in this box is what we're going to check out today right now they're describing this as thinly sliced steak warm thinly sliced steak maybe they're back there doing it cold but they're going to tell us here warmly thinly sliced steak Monterey Jack cheese flame roasted red and green peppers and onions and you know how we feel about onions and peppers but for you guys boom this is intact we have asked nothing left off of this uh, I didn't even ask if they went back there and assembled or if it came pre-frozen with the stuff on there and they could take it off. I have no idea. We just said give it to us the way it comes. Uh, served hot from the oven on artisan style basil cheese focaccia roll. Alright, so let's crack open a box and I'll let you have first look and then I'll take a peek. So here we go with our DQ Bakes artisan style Philly sandwich. And bam, there you go. That's what you get. <laughs> right uh, out of their uh, their oven. So there you go. Take all that in. All right, that's what you get. And you can see our basil cheese focaccia roll going on there. Um, you can also see the size of this container, and you can see, you know, proportion-wise, how big the sandwich is in comparison to this box. All right. All right. So there it is outside of the box. Let's crack this open so you can see on the inside what you get. There's your uh, thinly sliced steak, that melted cheese, the Monterey Jack cheese they talked about. And can we see our onions? I see onions here on this side. Where's the peppers? They talked about red peppers and shit like that, and I don't see any. All I see are, uh, oh, I see one. One lonely red pepper all up in there. Let's hear it for that one solitary uh, red pepper right there peeking out. All right, onions and peppers. Oh, my. Here we go. I'm just going to snap right into it and I'll let you know how I feel about this. All right. It's actually not bad at all. Standard issue, Philly cheesesteak flavor going on there with the onions and peppers involved. I can't say it tastes like uh, steakums. It's not. It's thinly cut steak, but not that thin where it's like just falling apart, paper thin. It's a thicker cut. I'll give it that. But the flavor going on here, which um, back to the convention oven thing, it's got a flavor that's kind of bordering on. Some of the frozen and refrigerated Philly cheesesteak sandwiches that I've gotten from like Pierre's, from uh, Rayburn's, uh, you know, companies like that that sell their stuff in grocery stores. So it's skirting along those lines. Very greasy. Uh, it's every bite, every chew, and even just feeling it in your hands is just like dripping with grease. Slightly salty, but it's not overbearing. I, I'm not going to say it's overly salty, nothing like that. It's just slightly salty. Uh, you can taste the onions, you can taste the peppers, all that. It's all like standard issue Philly cheesesteak flavor. The special cheese basil bun, it doesn't really stand out. More texture on the roof of your mouth, if anything. It's still not bad, though. Um, even though, like I say, I don't like onions and peppers, but it's not bad. Can't see myself buying it again. But yeah, I could definitely finish this. Uh, I'm not regurgitating it. It's not offensive in any way. So I'm going to give this like a, a really high 3 out of 5. Now, real quick before we slide out of here, let's just talk about price point. I think I paid five bucks for this. The value is kind of like, mm, and the shitter, because for five bucks, I mean, it is really close to the same flavor that you would get from even Subway. And they're what they call a steak and cheese sandwich over there. Um, not bad, though. So if you're near a DQ, at least give it a try. You know, a one and done on this. I'm Mr. Dury. This is GTM. So you can buy these knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here. Go have a rotten day.